Hey, this is Steve from Sparky's Garage. Today, we're gonna upgrade the stock steering wheel on this E36 BMW. Now, uh, this car came from Fresno, California. Had a lot of sun that beat down on this car, you can see by the hood here. And also, it basically started dry uh, rotting the steering wheel. So, the texture on it is really funky, looks weird. Anyways, uh, we talked to the crew at Grip Royal. Uh, basically, they told us everything that we needed to upgrade this E36. So, we're gonna go ahead and dive in into this. So next thing I want to tackle is removing the steering wheel. Uh, if you can look at this thing, it's like got this weird funky texture. It's like just falling apart and it's stock. Very, very boring. So I uh, got a hold of the crew at Grip Royal and they hooked us up. They got us all dialed in, dialed in for everything that we need to do a swap. So we're going to put a Grip Royal uh, steering wheel in. We uh, got the NRG adapter plate and then, then the quick disconnect. Um, again, I got all three of these parts at one place. And again, that was uh, Grip Royal. So big shout out to those guys. Thank you for helping me out, getting me uh, everything I needed um, to go along with this swap for the E36. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the stock steering wheel and uh, get this bad boy put on. So first thing you must do is pop your trunk and disconnect your battery because this will not be a fun time with an airbag blowing up in your face. So we got that uh, disconnected. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the two T25 screws, I believe on both sides right here. There's two little holes. And then down below, there is a Phillips screw right underneath. And then you can basically remove this bottom plastic piece. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So the two screws are out. Basically, you just kind of slowly pull this back and then there is this little orange clip. You just pull straight back. And then you got your brown clip. You just basically pull straight back. And then your whole airbag assembly comes out. All right, next you wanna go ahead and remove this lower piece. Again, there's just that one screw. And you gotta just carefully uh, finesse it and you can just get it out. Um, we'll set it down there. Sorry about that, I got an LED light right now. It's flickering <laughs> in the camera. So underneath here, here is the orange, that is your airbag. So what you wanna do with this guy is you're actually gonna take this and you're gonna twist this way. So twist uh, counterclockwise and then pull down and it should unclip. So now you can see it drop down. Once it dropped down, now you can go ahead and disconnect this. So basically squeeze these two and then separate the black and the orange from each other. So here is that thing disconnected and then you can see there is a little tab right there. So this will be inside, just squeeze the two black uh, little tabs and then pull and then disconnect it. So next you want to take a 16, 16 millimeter socket and remove this. Make sure that your wheels are 100% straight, your steering wheel is straight. And then as you go to loosen this, don't put your steering wheel all the way on the let it like rest on the lock like there's the lock right there do not do that you'll uh, end up damaging other internal parts of the steering rack or the steering column so you actually just want to just get a good grip on it and then best thing to do is take an impact gun and just buzz it right off so i got this loose just doing it by hand there is the bolt again Make sure your steering wheel is straight. Mine is, and then I'm gonna go ahead and slowly pull this off. You will have to uh, disconnect some wires in the backside. So let me uh, pull this off and I can show you. All right, so here's my steering wheel laying in my lap. So the only other white, uh, the only other wire you gotta uh, disconnect is this white wire. We already did this airbag one. And then now you can just slowly go ahead and pull it off. Um, we're gonna have to remove these screws and get this little cancellator onto the new one. So I got everything laid out, old steering wheel, new one, opened all the boxes, pulled all the paperwork out. <laughs> um, I guess it's just maybe common sense, but there is no instructions. It's just a pamphlet for some new products, a little uh, uh, warning disclaimer, and the short hub adapterless. I've never done this on a BMW. So yeah, we're gonna learn because there's no instructions. 
So I'm gonna start off by removing these little torque screws and get this cancel, um, little canceler off. So screws are removed. This is a Torx T10, tiny little thing. Um, so I took my hub and just put it upside down, kind of line up the holes with the steering wheel, and then kind of made it look exactly like this one. So steering wheel is kind of, well, it's kind of like that. So I should be able to just hopefully pick this up and then we're just going to transfer it over. So let me uh, pick this up and get it transferred over. So one other thing you got to do is flip it back over, remove this cover. It's just basically just uh, pressed in. It's got these little, little pressing clips. You just basically pull this off. There is a ground wire right there. Another uh, number 10 Torx. Then you just feed the wires through that hole, pull that whole canceler out. I think we're just gonna slap it in there. Stick the wires through this opening here. Uh, reinstall these uh, torque screws onto the new hub. All right, so we got this all together now. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in the car. Um, you want the logo, the NRG to be facing straight up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our 16 millimeter screw back in. So we got the adapter on. You can see the logos on top. Um, basically this wire we're not going to use, this is the airbag wire, so I'm just going to kind of fold it up and leave it in there. Uh, this is the ground, and then this is the horn wire. Uh, we'll get to get that in a minute. Down below, I went ahead and uh, reconnect these two white wires. This is the power for the horn, and I uh, put it back on the bracket and stuck it back up there in the factory location. This is the... Um, What's it called? Airbag, that's the other end of this. We're not gonna use this. So we're just gonna tuck it up here nice and neatly. And then now we can go ahead and reinstall that cover. Um, we can do it now or I can do it later. I may do it later. Um, now one other thing is, there is this spot right here. And it looks like the ground wire is supposed to go there. And I try to put the factory screw in there and it just falls right through. There's no threads in there or nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, a tap right here that I have, and then I have a small uh, little machine screw. And I'm going to basically tap that hole, put this machine screw in there, and then it gives me a spot so I can put the ground wire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I don't know why they don't put any threads in there. It's just a hole, but uh, maybe a perfect spot for the ground. So you can see I tapped that hole. I have a machine screw Allen, a little button head Allen, and uh, this is the wire that's supplied with the um, the hub adapter. So I'm going to basically take the factory ground, put it on that post, take this one, this is the other ground, it's going to go on that post, um, and then this end right here, I'm going to have to chop it off and put a male in on there, because on this end, it is a uh, female also. So they will not connect together. And i rather hack up the little adapters than hack up the pieces on the actual hub. And then they give you this one. This is fine and dandy. It goes on to the yellow one. But this is too wide of a spade to go into this part. So I'm going to have to take the edges and go on a grinder and grind these edges a little bit uh, to make this more narrow because this will not fit into the factory mail connector. And again, I'd rather modify the adapter than modify the factory wiring or the factory adapter wiring. So a couple little uh, tweaks I'm gonna have to do, but let me uh, get these knocked out. And then once I get those knocked out, I'll go ahead and take this Put it on and then we're going to go ahead and bolt it down with the supplied screws so real quick here is my fix ground is hooked up and then this is the power wire for the horn it's fixed um i went ahead and wrapped this just because there was a little bit of bare metal from the terminal exposed so i wrapped it up but now we're all hooked up i'm gonna go ahead and uh, button this all up all right so we have the adapter on and then we have one part of the quick release on um, finish up all the wiring. I did put my cover back on underneath here. So, 
Um, now next I'm going to go ahead and put my steering wheel on. Actually, I'm going to hook up the horn real quick. Um, and then I'm going to hook up the battery and test it out and uh, see if it works. So cross my fingers. So I got my steering wheel right here. Went ahead and just loosely connected it. Um, I had to use this wire, the white one. It came with the steering wheel. It's basically a female to female. Um, so I got the battery hooked up, put the key on, and we're gonna try the horn here and see if it works. We've got a horn. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount the steering wheel onto the quick release. Well, you can see I put my wheel on and it's a little crooked. Um, kind of was looking over everything I did and everything I did was right. So there is a piece just for this problem and it's, I guess it's with NRG um, adapters and hubs not going to one of their wheels, going to an, a different company wheel. Um, so Grip Royal makes the adapter to help basically re-clock that so that it will work on a NRG uh, adapter and hub. So I'm gonna put this on and it should clock that wheel back to where we needed to be. Thought I was done, <laughs> guess not. So let me pop this off. Take the quick release off real quick, stick this on. This is gonna basically go in between these two right here. So you got the hub, um, this little basic rotating uh, clock piece, and then you got the quick release hub, and then the wheel. So let me get this done real quick. Look at that, it fixed the wheel. So, horn, works. Uh, you can kind of see up here the whole setup, basically a uh, NRG hub to the stock E36 setup. Then you have the uh, Grip Royal, uh, basically clocking adapter, and the NRG quick release hub. But yeah, pretty pumped. Um, it's kind of a two-handed deal, but let's see if I can get it off one-handed here. Well, maybe not. Give me a second here. There it goes. So, pretty stoked. Bam. Well, that finishes up our Grip Royal steering wheel along with our NRG adapters. Huge shout out to the crew at Grip Royal. They basically gave us the best advice, told us what products we need for this E36. And then I ran into them at an event and I was able to purchase everything right there. So again, huge shout out to the crew at Grip Royal. I'll link their website down below in the description. So make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode. See ya!